One item that I always like to have in the shop includes some zip ties. You never know when you're going to need them. However, when it comes to zip ties, are they all pretty much the same or are some brands a lot better than others? Today we're going to be testing seven different brands in the cold as well as the heat as well as just regular ambient temperature to see if any brand is far better than the others. So let's get the testing underway and see which one of these zip ties is the best. So can zip ties provide enough strength to hold a cylinder head onto an engine while it's running? During the combustion process, the cylinder head pressure exceeds 2,000 PSI. That's a lot of pressure. We're going to be testing this towards the end of the video. I just completed building this product strength test device. This will allow us to get fair and accurate results for testing products. I'll be using a chain hoist as well as a weight scale that will apply a controlled and accurate force to provide an assessment of each product. The least expensive zip tie we'll be testing today includes the Storehouse brand, which is sold by Harbor Freight. I paid three cents per zip tie. These are rated at 46 pounds working load. So the maximum temperature range on this product is 185 degrees Fahrenheit. There is no information on the packaging regarding the minimum, but I did some research and it's 14 degrees Fahrenheit. See, I'll be testing each of these products from least expensive to most expensive, beginning with the Harbor Freight Storehouse brand. The way the testing will work is I'll just wrap the zip tie around this test device and then I'll begin applying pressure until each one of them breaks. We'll average the three weights together. Costing only seven cents per zip tie is the Fleurhart brand, which produces a zip tie that's measured for 50 pounds tensile strength. Also, the temperature range is five degrees Fahrenheit up to 140 degrees. The TR Industrial brand is rated for 50 pounds. Also, the temperature range is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 185. Costing nine cents each, the Strong Ties brand promises 120 pounds of tensile strength. Also, it's rated for minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 185. Costing 13 cents compared to the 9 cent Strong Ties, the Lenny Tech is a lot smaller, but it also promises 120 pounds of strength as well as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 185. At a price of 15 cents per zip tie, the Hyper Tough Walmart brand is rated for 75 pounds as well as minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 185 degrees. Costing more than twice as much as the competition include these Cambridge zip -its. Now this is a releasable type zip tie that offers 50 pounds of tensile strength and is rated for minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 185.
All of the brands exceeded their weight capacity rating except Lenitech. Well, it's rated for 120 pounds. It only produced 89 and nearly finished in last place. At 13 cents per zip tie, it's not looking good for this brand. I'll have to admit I'm pretty impressed to see the Walmart and the Harbor Freight brands in the top three. Not surprisingly, the Strong Ties, which has twice the girth as the competition, finished on top in the first round. So how do these cable ties hold up when they are at high temperature? Next, we're going to be testing each one of them. They are currently at about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I'll do is pull out one cable tie at a time, test it, and then pull out an additional one. The hot temperature really hurt all of the brands. While the Strong Ties brand didn't meet its 120 pound capacity, it did come out on top, narrowly edging out the Hyper Tough brand. The Harbor Freight brand continued to do very well, demonstrating why it's a much better value than those finishing below it. The Lenny Tech provided a really disappointing performance considering it's rated for 120 pounds and costs more than four times as much as the Warrior brand. This thermometer is measuring the temperature inside this freezer where the zip ties are being stored. It's about minus 25 degrees Celsius, which is about minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to take out one zip tie at a time and see the impact the cold temperature has on each brand. The first cable tie failed before I could even get it on. The clasp failed. Thank you. 
The colder temperatures helped all the brands do better except Fleur Heart. In fairness to the brand though, it's only rated for 4 degrees Fahrenheit but was tested at a temperature below its rating. While the cold temperature did seem to make all the brands a little more brittle, the top three brands seemed less affected by the cold temperatures than those below them. The Lenny Tech once again failed to impress. This is the ultimate test, which is zip tying a cylinder head on to see if the engine is going to run. What I'm going to do is use a couple of studs. I removed the head from these bolts, and this is only to keep the cylinder head aligned so it won't slide away from where it belongs in a centered up position. So all I'm going to do is add each one of these studs after I install the cylinder head, and it's not going to hold the head on. All it's going to do is just keep it aligned. Unfortunately, I can't get the engine to run with just zip ties because it's leaking from the bottom of the cylinder head. So what I'm going to do is add one cylinder head bolt to just to the bottom to see if we can get it to run with just one cylinder head bolt. We're going to get this engine running one way or the other. So we're going to add a second head bolt to see if that helps. Getting a lot of air leaks around these bolt holes, so what I'm going to do is just add a third cylinder head bolt. I just don't like to quit, that's why I'm continuing on. Man, I was really hoping to get that engine to run with just zip ties holding the cylinder head in place, but unfortunately we couldn't do it because those zip ties are just a little too elastic and it couldn't hold the cylinder head up against the block tight enough. When the zip ties were warmer, they didn't have as much strength, but they were less likely to snap during the installation of the zip tie itself. Uh, during ambient, we didn't have any failures as far as installing the zip ties on the test device, but when the temperature was cold, it seemed like they were very brittle. To me, Strong Ties is the best zip tie we tested today. Only one other brand was rated for 120 pounds capacity. However, that brand failed to impress. Now, regarding the second place, to me, that's hyper tough. The Walmart brand did very well. It is a little bit expensive, and to me, I would still rather buy Strong Ties over hyper tough. Now, the third brand that I might consider buying is the Harbor Freight brand. Now, I would only buy it if I had something that didn't require a lot of strength. It actually came in third place overall, and the price is very, very affordable. By far, the least expensive product we tested. To me, if I've got three different brands that work well, there's no point in recommending the other brands. I just really wasn't impressed with the rest of the field of competition. So I read and reply to just about every comment. So if you leave a comment, you can trust me, I will read your comment. And if you have a video idea that I can put together a video on, I'll do it. So I just wanna say thank you very much for all the video ideas you guys are giving me. It's much appreciated. Please take care and I look forward to next time.